Labour's is Labour's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy and it is a mitochondrial genetic eye disease. Uh, and what it basically means is that you have uh, is that you have no optic nerve, your kind of your optic nerve kind of uh, shrivels and dies and uh, you therefore only have about five to ten percent of your vision and it's um, basically only periphery vision uh, like the focal focal points aren't really there anymore I was in Magdalen Magdalen College Gardens actually uh, with my friend, and I had a, a fly flew into my eye. This isn't this isn't the cause, but a fly flew into my eye, and I uh, and I was trying to get it out, and then I was trying to look at her at the same time with my other eye. Uh, it's actually my right eye, and uh, and it was just a bit blurry in the middle, so I thought that's a bit odd. It, the transformation was complete by probably January of 2010. A lot of the time I just had to have stuff read to me, um, which, you know, to rely on people to read stuff to you and not to have that in independence was a little bit annoying. Serena's not actually going to read as Machiavelli, unfortunately. It's going to be Stephen Hawking's brother, as far as I can tell. Four, Machiavelli. Apart from seeing Machiavelli in his own context of late 15th and early 16th. I feel like I can't make an instant judgment about how they look. So if someone says, oh, they're attractive, aren't they? And I'm like, possibly. I, I, do, I do know. You know, it's kind of like pieces of a jigsaw. Like, oh, they've got, they've got a rather big nose. I haven't expected that before. Or, oh, they, their hair's actually longer than I thought, or if their eyebrows are hardly there, or something like that. When I did that first performance after I'd gone a bit blind, um, the fact that it was, uh, you know, I was still able, able to make people laugh. <laughs> In terms of continuity of, um, of of being able to do stuff, that was a I think that was a, a huge a huge confidence boost that I I was still like I still felt one of the um, I, I still felt very comfortable on stage and very comfortable doing it and very successful doing it. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what are you referring to? I mean, Standing, shuffling, <laughs> looking ugly, the book, writing most of the book. Yes, well, well, people will assume that he's referring to the fact that I hang around factories, dressed as one of the workers, <laughs> imitating them like some kind of bastard. <laughs> when we say that something's there in improv that isn't there, um, I actually don't know what is there. So I can possibly. Um, throw myself more, throw myself into uh, improvising a new world. Yes, 